We're at Light Reading Executive Summit 2016 in Rome. I'm with uh, Sheikha Aya from VMware. Hello. Uh, Sheikha, good to see you. Now, the, 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 the telco sector is starting to embrace uh, the opportunities uh, with IoT, the Internet of Things, and is planning now the early stages of shifting towards 5G. Yeah. What role is NFV playing in supporting those two evolutions in terms of the communication service providers? Uh, it's a great question because fundamentally both the 5G architecture as well as the IoT architecture are based on a footprint or a foundation of virtualization. Uh, the reason is that these are technologies that are built on distributed architectures on having a number of connected endpoints connecting with kind of clouds and backend server infrastructures, edge gateways, and the way to make that operate efficiently is not by having static devices or physical devices at each of these points that you can't kind of move and modify. Uh, alternatively, if you think about a virtualized architecture, it gives you the flexibility of having an abstracted layer that you can create pools of capacity uh, and the capacity could be compute, storage, network in different parts in that network architecture and that you can then take policy and create and modify that by software through a software manager across that entire connected infrastructure. Which if you think about it, that is the basis of IoT and that's the basis of how a 5G architecture is going to bring benefit right. to a mobile network as well. Okay. Um, so as the communications market sort of moves towards 5G and, and embraces IoT, um, obviously NFV is already playing a role in the market. So what kind of successes has VMware had so far and, and what happens next? What can VMware do next to um, you know, uh, improve its, its market share and its market traction? So today, for example, we've got more than 80 production deployments of NFV in carriers globally. And I am uh, re really encouraged by the pace at which this adoption is taking place. Uh, it's still early in the big scheme of things because there is a lot more left to be done, including uh, business process as well as organizational constructs that need to wrap themselves around this. Yeah but the starting points are very encouraging. And as we see that, we see an opportunity both to grow these deployments into multiple operating companies of our um, uh, carrier customers, as well as to spread geograph geographically to parts that haven't yet uh, adopted NFV and virtualization technologies. Okay. I'm also encouraged by the fact that this is going to lead to a graceful uh, entry point into the next generation like 5G when it comes along, as opposed to suddenly having a knee-jerk change between the state of virtualization now and the next phase. Right. Uh, and then as you look forward, I believe that technologies that are even more agile, like for example, container-based architectures that we are now co-opting into the uh, VMware platform. Okay. These are things that will become a natural part of the benefit of the next generation of deployment for our customers. Okay, excellent. Well, it sounds like you've got a roadmap to, to suit the, yep. the needs and requirements of the communication service provider sector. So look forward to seeing how that evolves in 2017 and catching up again next year to, to find out uh, the progress that's been made. Yes, look forward to seeing you here next year. Shekhar, thank you very uh, thank much. Thank you.